Hey guys, I come to you today for help. Um, my soaps, they're pretty basic in design. They, um, they just, there's only so much you can do with without any embeds, with just doing the swirls and layers and stuff. Um, a lot of the designs of my soaps are temporary because I can't do the actual design that I want because I have always had problems with cold process embeds. My embeds never ever set up. So I come to you ask, asking for advice as to what I should do. Um, these are embeds that I made last night. I didn't use a wooden mold or silicone mold that you, you know, the silicone molds you have to leave the soap in there for longer. I used this little plastic drawer organizer and it's been 24 hours and it is like Play-Doh. I don't know um, why. I use the same exact recipe that I use for my actual soaps with the exception of goat's milk. I do not use my precious goat's milk on the embeds. I do use just water. In this particular batch, I did use a water discount. I used the two to one ratio, um, water to lye. And, but I, one of the oils, I accidentally poured a little extra and I couldn't take it out because it was already mixed in with the other oils in the container. So I'm not sure if that canceled out the water discount, but this is, this is, I can't, it's not setting up and I don't understand why I've, i my other recipes, when I was experimenting with recipes, when I was doing the embeds, those didn't set up either. This recipe that I use now, that I've used for a while now, um, does have stearic acid in it. And so that should help with the setup and everything, but it, it, it's just, it's not working. And I had done a strawberry patch soap that I did melt and pour embeds in because the cold process ones didn't turn out. And I didn't like doing that because I like to cold process, oven process my soaps. And you can't put melt and pour in the oven or else it'll melt. So I actually saved my attempt of my embeds for that soap because I had a it, I had a feeling that just in case I didn't find the solution to this problem I would be able to explain I had a feeling I was going to have to do a video and so I wanted to save this so I can show you guys this is the embeds that I made to make the leaves on my strawberry patch as you see some of them are cracked that was when I tried to take them out of the mold and they were still soft and they just pulled apart like Play-Doh. I made these a month and a half ago. One and a half months ago. They have developed considerable ash as you see. And I took, I took one of the stars out and this is it. This is the star that I took out this morning. I made these a month and a half ago. I don't understand what I need to do to get my cold process embeds to work. I don't, if any of you guys have any, any insight, it's really frustrating not, it's really frustrating seeing all these, everybody do cold process embeds and they work out perfectly and I cannot do it. I don't understand why. Um, this is a silicone mold that I had put this in, so I knew I was going to have to wait longer. But now it's been a month and a half and when I take it out it's still like play-doh that's that's unacceptable <laughs> I can't I don't I don't know what I'm what I'm what I'm doing wrong or if there's another um, another process I'm supposed to be doing specific for embeds or anything like that so if you guys could help me out because I really don't I really want to stop using melt and porous embeds I really do I like the look of cold process embeds and I want to keep my melt and pour with. I, I don't want. I want to stop using my melt and pour for embeds because I would like to actually use them for making actual bars. So, if you guys could help me out, it would be greatly appreciated.